Welcome back my king and queens. It is queen of queen she me and today I'm sharing with you guys a review and demo featuring Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now you guys know typically I do not come on here and do a lot of review and demos especially when it comes to makeup because one I'm not an expert and two I just enjoy putting on makeup for the fun of it because I get to wear it on the weekends versus wearing it through work Monday through Friday. So <laughs> with all that being said we're going to go right on ahead and jump right into this video. So I mentioned in a few videos way back that I did um, pick up the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour cream kit and I did pick mine up in the shade um, light because I think they have a light medium and a dark or it's just a light and a medium I'm not quite sure you guys don't quote me but I did pick up this contour palette um a lot of people have already done a review and demo of the actual palette here on YouTube me solely I just wanted to share it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick because that's what I primarily I'm coming on here to do my review and demo for today but since I had this palette I have not even used it yet so I figured I might as well include it in this video so you have the colors fair neutral and then you have and then you have banana and then you also have Java Java light sculpt and then you also have Havana as well and I'm going to be going in with the Havana shade um and that's the shade that I think I will be using today to contour with um I'm not sure if I will be using any of these to actually conceal with to like highlight under my eyes um, we'll see once we actually get into the review and so demo. I'm just gonna go ahead I'm just gonna go and prime my face I'm going in with the hangover primer from Too Faced gonna work this in I've come to find that I like this primer you guys um it doesn't have a sticky feel to it and I primarily try to use it on the places where I get a lot of oiliness so like my t-zone area and then also along my cheekbone area as well I tend to get a lot of breakouts there so I try to keep it as matte as possible so that way I don't have to worry about um as many breakouts happening but as of lately my skin has been doing pretty well um actually honestly the last week i have not been washing my face at night and i don't know if that has been making a difference or not um because again during the week i do not wear makeup so um i just really wear mascara and an eyeliner and maybe a lippy and that is it so i'll just take my makeup off using the petal fresh botanicals balancing facial wipes and I love these things. They smell good and they're very gentle on the skin. So maybe that has been making a difference in my skin. But today is a good skin day. And I wanted to come on here and do my review and demo for you guys. So I don't think I'm going to color correct for the sake of this video. Because I recently did pick up um, LA Girls um, Orange Corrector Concealer. But I don't think I'm going to use it for this video. I think I'm just going to go in and just do it on bare skin primed and just going with the foundation just so we can see how this foundation stick is actually going to work okay so i picked up the anastasia beverly hills foundation stick and i picked it up in the shade coco and um one thing about sephora i like um they primarily have a lot of shades for women women of color depending on the brand um i've never used an anastasia beverly hills um foundation before nor have i used any honestly i've never used any product from anastasia beverly hills but this is what it looks like and it is so freaking cute and it was only 25 dollars, you guys so i figured versus me repurchasing my becca foundation for 42 i would just try out the anastasia beverly hills foundation stick and it is so freaking cute so again as i stated this is in the shade coco and ooh, and i think this is really gonna work and i would prefer and i always tend to get my foundations in a darker shade um just so that way when i go in with highlighting it, it will blend together better um so i'm just going to swatch the foundation here on my hand and this is what the color looks like and i must say this foundation really does have a creamy consistency to it and um yeah but i do love the color payoff i'm not sure if it's going to oxidize or not but if it does decide to oxidize i think i will still be okay for the day um but so far so good i do like the texture 
I like the way that it's easy to twist to actually uh, roll up the product. And we're just gonna go right on ahead and jump into the review. Wow, this is gonna be a full coverage. I'm liking this already. And yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and blend that out. And I'm just gonna go in with a um, Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Um, this is a new one out of my two pack and they cost about 11 or $12 for the two pack. Um, but you guys, I love these Real Technique Beauty Blenders. I just like the way that they fit into your hand. Okay, so I can just kind of zoom you guys in so that we can get a better close up of what the foundation will actually look like while I'm blending it. Um, if it looks like I'm looking away from the camera, it's because I'm looking in my mirror so I can <laughs> see what I'm actually doing. So we're just gonna go right ahead and start blending this out. okay so this is the right side and oh my gosh you guys like i like i like the way that this foundation is actually looking like i really do like how it actually is covered i can still see some of my scars so if i did color correct then it would probably cancel out the scars but i can wear this actually as an everyday foundation it's very lightweight it doesn't have a cakey feel to it and it blends out so nicely Alright, so this is the right side. And then this is the left side before I actually finish blending it out. I really like how this foundation covers. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish blending this out. And then we'll see if we need to go back in with a little bit more of the actual foundation stick. Okay, so this is the foundation fully blended out. I will say that I do like the foundation payoff. It, I am gonna say that it is a full coverage foundation um, solely because I feel if you do not have acne scarring, then you will definitely get an instant full coverage. But if you're like myself and you have like some kind of hyperpigmentation or kind of scars or anything like that, then yes, I will go in with a color corrector. But for the main part, so um, I do like the foundation. I do like how it blends out. Again, this is what the foundation looks like on my hand. <clears throat> and it is kind of oxidizing already. Um, I do see a little um, kind of orange redness undertone to it. I do have a neutral undertone, so it's kind of hard for me to like um, get that true color because I'm actually warm and cool. So. For my perfect shade, I feel like cocoa, and then if I probably would have went a shade lighter mixed together, I would have gotten my perfect shade. But I am in love with this foundation right off the bat. I really do like it. So again, this is the Anastasia um, Stick Foundation in the color Cocoa, and it is only $25 at Sephora, so I really do not feel like that was bad at all, um, and I really do like it. I really am impressed. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm kind of letting this sit right now because you can see I kind of look a little bit oily. Um, I did notice that when I swatched the foundation on my hand, uh, that it did have a, little, uh, had a good amount of oils in it. So I'm kind of just going to like let this set a little bit. But um, I don't think I'm going to go in with my air spun powder just to kind of help set it. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and then just dip it into my air spun powder. And I'm just going to lightly dust it across my face just to kind of help set the oiliness. I don't like to use that powder puff fluff thing because, you know, it holds bacteria. So I just figure I just do it this way. Just lightly set the face. Yeah, it helps a lot. Because again, I am an oily girl. 
and I want my face to stay as matte as possible for as long as possible because unfortunately even though I'm off today I have class tonight so all right so what we're going to do now we're going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Beverly Hills contour cream kit in the light palette and I think I will try to highlight with using one of the shades out of here um I think but this is what and you guys I've had this for like three months or so now and I have not used this palette it still has everything on it so um I'm just gonna take this off here and the packaging is so nice it's so convenient um and it just pops out like so so this is what the palette looks like so you have banana neutral fair and then you have Havana light sculpt and then you have Java and so I think I'm gonna actually go in with the contour shade Havana to actually contour with oh no I'm sorry I think I might actually try Java I think I might try Java but I do not see a um I do not see a highlighting shade in here that I feel like will be suitable for me um I think these colors up top primarily are for um like highlighting probably like your brown brow bone area or something like that but I typically don't do that all the time so I think I am going to go in with this Java shade to contour with so for highlighting we're going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal um any shade toffee and I love the shade this is my freaking shade right here I've always I've used toffee I've been using toffee for a while now a good while now so we're just going to go ahead and highlight. And I do like how the foundation blended out though. I really do like how it looks on my skin. Okay, so now that we have all of our highlighted areas blended out, I'm going to set all of that using the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder in the shade Sheer. And you guys, I love this freaking powder. Like, I've been using it for about the last four to six months, and it has not let me down. And if you're wondering where you can pick it up from, you can get it from your local um, Walmart. So we're just going to set all these places and in a way let it bake because I don't want to become an oil bomb. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I mean just kind of, and you don't drag the beauty blender across your face. You actually try to just pounce it into the skin so that way everything can try to sit evenly. Okay, so while that is setting, we're going to go ahead and contour. Um, you guys, I've still been learning how to contour, so if you have any tips, let us just know because I don't want to walk around here looking cray cray. Okay, so again, we're going to go in with the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit, and we're going to go in with the shade Java. So hopefully, Java will work out perfectly for my skin type, and I'm just going to swatch it. And I'm just gonna swatch it here for you guys. So, and it's really creamy. Ooh, I do not like how that's pulling. It pulls up gray. Let's see what this other shade looks like. Yeah, all these pull gray. All these have a gray undertone. That's not gonna work. I don't want to look like I have mud on the side of my face. That's not what we're going for. Mm. Well, sorry you guys. We're not going to be using that today to contour with. Good thing I brought it back up. So we're going to contour with another LA Girl Concealer. And it is in the shade 
um this is in the shade dark cocoa i guess cocoa is a thing today you guys i don't know but this is what i got good thing i did pick this up because i was thinking about it and i said what if that cream palette does not pull the way that you want it to so yeah that will definitely be going back to the store and primarily you don't want your contour to look like dirt you just wanting to bring some kind of natural um natural dimension back into your face so actually what i should do is go ahead and dust off this setting powder so it won't be in the way but you guys i am loving this foundation i like how it's set to my face i mean not to my face but i like the way that it actually has set into my skin it looks really nice because i don't wear makeup every day because i always have problems with makeup becoming too oily for my skin I just need a foundation that's gonna last me for about six to eight hours of the day and then I could just come home and take it off so we're gonna go ahead and contour and I'm not gonna put a lot because you just don't want it to look crazy so yeah and I think I'll just do that for now. So I'm just going to take another beauty blender. And I'm going to take this one because it already has a darker foundation on it. So it's going to just help with bringing more dimension back into my face. So you just want to make sure that your beauty blender again is damp. And you just kind of want to pounce this into the skin. And then I'm just going to set this and you really want to make sure you blend this out you guys you don't want it to look harsh okay so I'm going to set the cream contour using the black radiance true complexion contour palette in medium to dark you guys know this is my baby. Uh, you guys know this is like my favorite. I love this freaking highlight. But yeah, so I'm going to set the contour, the actual contour powder here. Um, as you guys can see, like I always set my creams with the powder so that way they don't move. Yeah, because you don't want your foundation and all that good jazz to be looking crazy. So I just took it very lightly. And this is a contour brush. And this is from e.l.f. Yeah, I just really want to set that contour. But you just try to make sure you blend it into the skin. And I'm not going to use a lot because I don't want it to actually look like a line going across my face. But again, I just really like to use the contour to help bring some kind of dimension back into my face. And I'll usually take this and I'll just go around the perimeter and just do like that. And um, I haven't, I've been actually touching up my makeup under there. So don't you guys worry. I haven't forgotten about that section either. And yeah. And I just like this brush because it's angled. I think it's on like three or four bucks again from um, Elf Cosmetics. Okay, now that I have the actual concealer blended all out that I use as a contour today, I'm just going to set my face with the Makeup Forever Dual Matte Foundation Powder. And this is in the shade 218. I love this shade. I love how it sets my foundation. Um, yes, this powder I think was about $30, but I've had it for about four months now so i mean a little goes a long way and i just simply take a fluffy brush and i just pounce it in there and then um yeah and I, then i just blend out all the places around like my face where i didn't set it so that's what i'm getting ready to do here and i love this foundation powder because it brings color back into your face and you don't look all crazy and yeah it just brings everything back together so catch all these places and then like up top here around where I highlighted that and yeah 
But I love this foundation powder. It's lightweight. And it just blends into the skin so smoothly. So what we're getting ready to do now, since I've already set my face with the powder and the contour and all the creams and everything of that sort, I'm going to go in with a blush, a highlighter, and I'm using a new highlighter today, which I'm excited to share with you guys. I've been wanting to get it for a while. I want the big daddy size, but babe went on ahead and got me the smaller version, which is actually better for traveling. So I'm appreciative of that. So I'll be showing you guys that in a second, but I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes and everything. And then I'll Okay, so for blush, we're going to go on with the Black Radiance Artesian Baked Blush in the shade Toasted Almond. And you guys know I love this freaking blush. And I just like to get like a little flush of color. Alright, so I think that's good on blush. Yeah, I really don't put a lot on. You just put some just to give you a good, like I said, flush of color. Okay, so my last goodie that I'm sharing with you guys is from Bobbi Brown. It is my mini shimmer brick compact and this is in the color bronze. So this is what the packaging looks like. Yeah, oh my gosh, you guys. Like I wanted the full size one, but I just could not... I'm sorry. I, I, I placed myself on a budget and I just could not pay those $56. But this one, the trial size, not the trial size, the travel size one, is actually only $25. And we're just going to pop open this little bad boy. And oh my gosh, look at those freaking colors. Oh, yeah, I know I'm about to be in highlight mode in a second. Like, oh my gosh. This is so freaking gorgeous. Swatch, and I'm just gonna go straight. And I'm gonna go straight down the center. And oh, uh, look at that color, you guys. Look at that. Look at that shade. Look at that shade. Uh. So I'm just gonna go in using my stippling brush um, that is also from e.l.f. And I'm just gonna dust it across here. So I'm just going to go like that. Kind of dust off the excess and hit the highest points of my cheekbone. So I'm gonna smile really hard and it's so freaking pretty, guys! Ah, it's so gorgeous. finger and I just lightly blend that out so it doesn't look like I'm just sitting there like a bomb on my face <sighs> all right going in again I better I better stop I already know so I'm just gonna take my finger and dust it through there and hit my cubist bow some mm. Okay, so right now the time is 2.24 p.m. I have not touched up. We have gone out to Chili's and had lunch and taken care of a little other personal things. And yeah, so this is pretty much what my foundation is looking like right now at the current moment. And I'm loving it, you guys, a lot. And it, did, it has oxidized so far, but... So far, so good. So, I'm going to keep rocking and rolling. And I'll come back to you guys with an end of the day update and my final thoughts on the Anastasia Beverly Hill Stick Foundation in the color Coco. Okay, you guys. So, it's been about almost seven hours. The time is 6.23 p.m. 
and I must say I really do like the foundation it is a full coverage foundation um I must say I did have to touch up once throughout the day if you're an oily skin girl like myself <laughs> you definitely want to make sure that you use a really good primer um the foundation is perfect I mean it is true to color I mean it did oxidize a little bit throughout the day but I don't mind that because it actually brings a little bit of warmth to my skin um, because initially when I apply my makeup, I look kind of ashy or kind of washed out because the um, makeup hasn't quite settled into my skin as of like yet. But once I've actually worn the makeup for about an hour, hour and a half or so, it sits pretty well into my face. But I know too that at some point throughout the day, I'm going to actually have to touch up because again, I'm an oily skin girl and yeah and also to remember i use a lot of cream so i use a cream foundation stick i use a cream concealer i use a cream contour then i went over top of that with the powder as well so all that together those creams you have to make sure that you set them really well so um i felt like i set them pretty well maybe next time i'll go in a little bit heavier with my elf setting powder like i typically do for some reason i did it today and again i used it here under my eyes the bridge of my nose my chin and also my forehead but i really did enjoy the foundation it was only 25 dollars at sephora and again i picked up the anastasia beverly hills stick foundation in the shade coco and it was 25 dollars at sephora so now i'm just going to take off my makeup you guys because um yeah we're getting ready to cook dinner our favorite monday night tv shows are coming on and it's just time to finish out the rest of our off day on a chill note so with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this review and demo if you did please let me know down below in the comment sections um also as well don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to also subscribe i upload one to two times a week um primarily i'll try to get two times a week for you guys and yeah so thank you so much for watching my king and queens and i will see you guys in the next upload be blessed